Let's get this torque jammer to Bertha. You be good, little bro. Like I always say, he who dares, wait, wait, wait. Thanks, Diggs. You're skipping again. Oh, she agreed to marry you? Sure did. She must be blind then. Nope. I got a good thing with that girl. The miasma can't do shit to love. Can it? No, ma'am, it can't. So, where is she? She's coming from Fort Mitchell. Three hours late. Uh, who's... Ah, no. You should get back in the mine where you belong, bot. Elvis and Diggs, get over here. Still using those toy rifles? You do know what end the bullets come out, right? Yeah, Pete, we do. But it doesn't matter when your prey is bulletproof. Tougher prey demands a tougher brand of firepower. You boys need to upgrade. Maybe you can find some new guns out there. The Badlands always provide. As you know, gangsters are running America. They're called the First Family. Powerful a-holes, rich beyond dreams. <laughs> but they've been sloppy, dropping their tech all over the Badlands, leaving behind choice weapons, too. No, thanks. I'll stick to the weapons I know. OK, I know you're tough with your killer robot and all, but get yourself a family gun. Plastic casing, maglev beamers, woo, baby, the whole nine. Hell, I rejiggered and hotwired my rifle a dozen times over. Guns need upgrades. Not disagreeing with you, but who's got the time? Come on, man. You're the rock and roll mechanic, right? This is up your alley. Find upgrades at Bertha's or in the American Badlands. Either way. You'll thank me. Ah, America. It's a special country. You and Diggs should get out there. We've been out there, but we don't want to die, so we came back here. Ah, know what? I thought I was going to be the first McCaffrey to get out of this town, but nope. I'm going to be buried in the backyard next to six generations of McCaffreys who never got out. Never changed their stars. Don't be me, Elvis. See America. Stay strong. The evil energy surrounds our town on all sides, but we shall not fear the miasma. We're gonna do a backflip on the miasma. Hey, hey, say it. Haven't seen Georgia in a while. Maybe I should say hi. Look what the gator dragged in. I walk past your shop, Elvis. It looks like hammer shit. All right, because this place is immaculate. <laughs> Smells good, too. Don't try to get on my good side, Elvis. I no longer have one. Now, I know you want to find your mama, and no one's going to tell you different. But this town needs a good mechanic, especially with the first family up our asses. You know, I really wanted your mama to come back. You miss her? Nah, I wore 50 plastic. She skipped town before I could pay her back. She's been gone so long, though. Might as well give it to you. Really? I don't know, Georgia. She's not coming back. I'm sorry. Take the money and bury the past. Years ago, we used to trade with the first family face to face. Now they just send their robotic flunkies to squeeze us dry. <laughs> Damn collectors. They take our gold, and in return, they give us just enough supplies to keep us digging. But where else are we gonna buy supplies? They got us bent over a log, all right. So we tell the first family to get lost. What's so hard about that? That's what Elizabeth Town did. Where are they now? Underground, buried in rubble. You know what vexes me? 
What does the first family do with all that gold? Mayor J. Mason. Make all the jokes you want, but that man refuses to die. When he lost his legs, he dragged his butt through a half-mile tunnel. When he lost his arms, he fought tooth and nail to become mayor of this town. He must be over a hundred years old. Still sharp as a knife. He might live forever. Mm. Be careful of men who refuse to kick the bucket. They'll do anything it takes to hold on. Anything. You ruminate on what I told you. Welcome to Original Bertha's General Store. I'm Bertha Jr. Here's that torque jammer, Bertha. Just like we promised. Hey, hey. Took you a while. Thought somebody killed you, boys. And me and Elvis, we don't kill easily. Deal's a deal. Here's a power core. Don't blow yourself up now. Rock and roll. Say, where'd you get that glove? My mama gave it to me. Wanna sell it? Not in a hundred lifetimes. Thanks, Bertha. Thank you right back. Store's open to you boys anytime. If you're looking for deals, take cover, because I'm about to make it rain. Anyone leaving town needs a weapon to defend themselves. That's my asthma 101. It's hella dangerous out there.
Adios. That core working? Like a dream. Let's get back to the mayor. Collection day's coming. Hate these first family bastards. Well, to survive, the town had to make a deal with the devil. Well, these devils are squeezing the town dry. Wish I could do something about it. It's working, man. You're not a second too soon. Gator Zone's crawling with monsters. Why the hell were you in Gator Zone? This brainless pot dragon? Uh, brains is all you got, Jarhead. Hmm. Elvis, I hit the jackpot. Found an encrypted file in your mama's data drive. It's all about increasing your glove's power. Hell yeah. What's it say? Well, that's the problem. I can't understand a goddamn lick of it. Read this. To heal the miasma and pay our debts, absorb the anger of a wild vortex. In return, the miasma gives an editor a reward. Power for your glove, and balance restored. Some kind of riddle. You know what she means? Heal the miasma. Editor? I don't get it. Me neither. What's a vortex? Damn it. Trying to figure out my asthma's like punching a tornado. Tornado? Hold on. Near the wall, we saw some angry miasma. Yeah, swirling around. Like a vortex. The glove was pulling me to it like it wanted to grab it. Maybe it did. You should go investigate. Could be the key to everything. But the frogs are out there, too. Could be dangerous. Want to see danger? You looking at him, old man? Elvis, clock's ticking. Let's go. Yeah, cool. We got this, Mayor. Godspeed. I'll keep digging through these files for more clues. 